Hey everyone, I'm Ashwin and I'm really excited uh, to be part of this conference. Uh, something that I would have not imagined just a couple years ago because even then, like right now, I'm still, or was, still a beginner and new. And this is in part uh, the reason I'm here is really part of thanks to my team who helped me understand the new world, helped me understand the whole JavaScript framework world, and who helped me develop my skills and improve on them so that I could be here and tell other people who are like maybe at the same level as me or maybe who are just beginning to um, help them understand how they can start um, developing their own view applications or, you know, just getting to know the view framework in general. Um, so the first question always comes to my mind is, do you need to know enough JS for you to know about the frameworks that were built on JS? This is definitely true. You need to know some sort of JS, obviously, to get started with um, Vue. Having a familiarity with what the language is about, how the language works, and what, to, what, what specific nuances are with the language will really help you in getting uh, started with Vue. So I guess this is probably a no-brainer, but having a working understanding of JS would really help you in um, developing apps using Vue. Um, Followed by, I guess, the first um, suggestion is obviously learning the fundamentals. This is really core to understanding any framework, any language, or anything literally you'll be doing in your own career. Because imagine jumping directly into applications and not knowing what a particular aspect, like let's say watch effect or props, if you don't know what they do under the hood, you'd be probably getting used to using them and understanding them what uh, you need to get done. But understanding really these particular concepts, the basics of the framework will help you in building more complex applications and uh, become more aware in general of what to use when. As, um, as I might have already said, that there's multiple ways of doing single things and it really depends on your experience and your in general experience with the framework that will help you determine what sort of uh, path you take while developing a particular application. And so what does make a good start project or how you can get started is um, just go around and shop or maybe not shop exactly, but just go around and start finding uh, simple problem statements uh, for uh, view concept, like view directives or uh, how rendering works in view, or how to pass down props, or how to emit um, things, or how to, uh, let's say, how to use uh, watch versus, uh, let's say, watch effect, what's the difference between them. And really build, iteratively building on individual concepts will help you understand how individual, uh, how these concepts come together and help you create a beautiful app that you desire or that you want to build and in general will give you a base understanding if let's say while making a decision on whether to use one versus the other you really have a good understanding of what difference does uh, one approach make with the other approach so there's that and of course uh, <laughs> the consideration of the profit part which is just basically you learning your skills and understanding stuff. Um, the most important part that I want to share today is do not fall into the trap of building something big as a starter project because I believe that most people fail to understand how complex or how um, really, really, really complex these basic concepts or the entire framework can get if you're uh, seeing, it as, seeing it from the top and just trying to interface with it. And if you don't know anything under the hood or if you don't know how the framework behaves or what's going on, it is soon going to be a point of frustration for you. And you soon be thinking about abandoning the framework or the project entirely just because you couldn't get maybe a reactive button or a reactive job done working. So there is absolutely no substitute in what I discussed before. It's going back and having a problem statement for concept so that whenever you're building an application, it comes to you naturally on what um, sort of concepts are required and what sort of concepts that you use. It could be, as I said, could be small as, you know, trying out in the SFC playground, whether you could use props, 
how to use slots, what things you can pass to slots, what things you can pass to props, how async components work, and again, uh, spatial re repeating or spatial repeating the whole uh, concepts to problem statements idea will help you gain constant and continuous knowledge on what you can do with these particular things. And maybe you could explore some new or some different tricks that were posted online and you, you come across and then you really understand what these tricks or what these particular components were. Uh, there will be a lot of pressure around you in going around, like say, hey, Angular or React is the industry standard. Everyone's using it and why are you uh, learning Vue and all that? Um, I mean, really, as I said, I've, I've been saying this whole talk, fundamentals, that's what you need to know. Frameworks is just built on top of some really, really, really basic concepts. So it's not about framework, it's about fundamentals. And once you know what particular framework, you can probably transfer your skills. If you understand that really well, you could transfer your skills to other frameworks as well. And again, um, do not actually go into the pressure in changing frameworks just because it is cool just because everyone else is using it or just because um, you find it you find that one particular concept one particular concept is really easy one framework versus the other which may be probably be the most crucial part of your application and then you get hooked to it but constantly switching frameworks around while in the learning phase will really not help you in the long term and industry standards is something that are probably set throughout the whole duration so you get used to it and of course do not fall you know, for any tricks that are posted online about hey how you can you do this one particular thing in 10 different ways and you can also participate in things like advent of code and all of these things and you know you learn by making more mistakes and in general um, working around things so i hope this was a pretty quick uh, understanding of how you could get started with you and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can just um, maybe connect with me. And what I would suggest basically is getting a good mentor, getting someone who can really understand where you are at your stage and having them uh, basically guide your deep journey. So I guess that's, that's probably it. And I hope you enjoy the presentation and have a good day.